gun that's mixed with an IPA by McKellar called The Invasion is the best goddamn thing I've ever put in my mouth in my whole goddamn life. Have you no bread? Then drink cake. Marie Antoinette never said that. This is the Ballast Point Red Velvet Golden Oatmeal Stout. It is a wonderfully weird style, and we're gonna talk about why it's definitely worth checking out. Now, Golden Stouts are a style that is a little bit unusual. Um, I really honestly think I've only even seen one other Golden Stout in my life. From McKellar, I think. It was called The Daydream. It was good. That's not what this is about, though. Now, this Golden Oatmeal Stout, you're gonna see the pour. It's a nitro, so you can just shake it out like a ketchup bottle as long as you have a glass that's big enough to fit it. And if it didn't have beets in it, it would definitely look yellow. Um, though you would notice as you poured it that it had a much thicker consistency than say a lager or a pilsner. This beer has a really nice consistent head that stays throughout. It never gets really big, but it also never really goes away. It almost acts like white icing on, on red velvet cake, so it definitely meets the visual of the red velvet. Let's see if the scent and taste meet up with that too. Now the scent of this beer is very sweet oats and you can smell a little bit of that chocolate on the end of it because there's cocoa added in there. It's actually a very pleasant sweet smell. Now what I really like about this beer is I was first concerned that it was going to be too sweet for me. I tend to not like highly sweet beers, but it's not. Uh, the moment I take a good swig of this, it is very nice and hoppy at the start and then descends right away into the sweet grain of the oatmeal. And following that, you're gonna get a bit of that cocoa. So it's gonna taste a little bit more like a cake. And then it's gonna round out with the beet flavor to make it have that little bit of zip at the end that's characteristic of red velvet cake. I was at a loss on as to how to rank this beer. Personally, I adore it. But we kind of do stars on the recommendation scale, and this is a pretty weird beer for really anyone, honestly, even if you've drunk a lot of beers. However, I had a very wide range of people try the beers from the six pack that I tried. I had people who traditionally didn't drink beer try it, and they really liked it. I had people who traditionally tend to drink, uh, you know, the Bud Light style, simple pilsners and lagers stuff. They really liked it too. I only actually had one person report back to me that they didn't really enjoy it. They thought that the beet flavor was a little off-putting, but they did not regret drinking that. And that's really why I ultimately give this beer five stars on the recommendation scale. And I'm not gonna go and say, oh, you know, everybody's gonna have a five-star experience with this beer, but frankly, it's so unique and so cool that even if you drink it and it's just not your thing, you are not gonna regret trying it. And really at the end of the day, that's what five star means on this channel. So even though it's weird, even though it's cake in a glass and I didn't, I gotta give it five stars. It's wonderful. I don't care what Beer Advocate says, it's definitely worth checking out. And we've gotta make sure that we Encourage brewers to try new and interesting things so that beer continues to evolve. So, take it easy, cheers, drink a cake.